everyone, and welcome to the Midweek War. It is me, Mad Mike. I am back from New York Comic Con, and man, oh man, did I get a lot of Legos over there. This is this is a tower from Avengers Age of Ultron, and we're, we're here to talk Lucha Underground. We are here to talk two weeks of Lucha Underground because Sorg... Sorg. Sorg is here with me, everyone. Hi, I was Sorg. so dejected from not having you on last week that I didn't even do a midweek war on Lucha Underground. Because I can't just talk about blood by myself because that's that's just weird. I I concur. Because, holy crap, there was a lot of blood, Sorg. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of blood. Um, all right, let, let's just... Sorg, for the past two weeks, what has been your word? Blood, 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 blood. <laughs> Hashtag Sangre. <laughs> sangre. Sangre is blood in Spanish. Oh, sangre. that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. So, tu palabra es sangre. Ha -ha. Full Spanish. Full Spanish there. Um, uh, mi palabra for, for the past two weeks has been... <laughs> uh, can you spell that or use it in the form of a sentence? Um, I watched the past two weeks of Lucha Underground and went... <laughs> <laughs> I can't spell it though. I was never a very good speller. Um, uh, Sorg, what? Damn! <laughs> These past two weeks have been insane, Sorg. Um, all right, Sorg. I know it's going to be difficult. You know what? You know what? Let's. Qual es tus dos buenos, Sorg? Two of them. What are your two goods? Uh, my good uh, for this week is that we got to see Killshot and and uh, uh, Dante Fox yet again. Uh, in and and you know after what we saw two weeks ago, and my good from last week is um, it's my good and also my uh, uh but but I think because it <laughs> gave me a reaction that's why it's going to be my good is you know watching Ivelisse and Katrina. It was one of those. I don't know when's the last time I, I I've seen a women's match that bloody, right? Yeah, it was. It was like to the point where it's like I don't. This is starting to feel a little uncomfortable. Which good, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know what it kind of reminded me of. It kind of reminded me of the um, the Beulah McGillicuddy versus um. Mm. Oh, um, Fonz. what's his name? Fonz. What was his name? Fonzie. Yeah. Yeah. First Bill Alfonso match. It kind of reminded me of that. And that's not a bad thing because that's still one of the most brutal matches in ECW history. <laughs> like, like it was, it was awesome. It was really, really good. And I, I think my favorite thing about that match was we actually fought inside Dario's temp, inside Dario's office. Yeah, that was the thing. That, that, that consistency of we went and like back the hallway. Uh, we talked about this, I think, at the end of the Mayhem show this week, didn't we? Uh, that, mm -hmm. Like there was like a consistency of we went back the hallway and back through the thing, and you and you get to see a little bit more of the temple, and we're like, wait, that's where they shoot all the, that stuff, right? Um, no, I thought that was really cool, and kind of nice to reveal kind of thing to be a finale kind of feeling. Yeah, uh, and also Dario's face after they left his office. Ne never change, El Jefe. Wait, 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 remind me, what did he do? He just came out. He was like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> like, like, it's almost like he didn't know it was going to happen yeah. and was just reacting to it afterwards. Acting. Um. Yeah. Just. Everything about that match was great. Um, uh, me dos buenos for uh, the past two weeks. Marty the Moth and Phoenix. Jeez. But, but, uh, just, just, it was fantastic. Good stuff and the awkward and the Melissa Santos being involved. It was just a lot of good. And it, 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 it was the epitome of just everything coming to a head. And also the most surprising heel turn I've uh, the most surprising face turn I've ever seen was Mariposa helping Marty to get his haircut. Like, wasn't expecting that. Yeah, yeah, that came because I don't know where they where they, where they put where they seating that somewhere and I didn't catch it. Well, they they had a segment like way early in the season where uh, Mariposa captured. 
like uh, kidnapped her brother, mm-hmm. and then said he was too focused on Melissa Santos, oh. and he needed to, you know, he needed to fight for the tribe. And clearly, obviously, he didn't listen to his sister. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which, you know, as 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 a brother myself, you have to listen to your sisters. Absolutely. Um, and what's your other one? Um, uh, uh, mi bueno for for last night is um. <sighs> <laughs> the most hold on hold on sorg sorg and the award for most ironic commentary goes to matt striker for his work in the last luchadora standing match um that that's that's my good because to hear matt striker talk all this stuff about sexy star when after certain events have happened, it's kind of amazing. <laughs> that was. What, what, what points did you pick up from that? Because I can't, I can't, I don't think oh, I was paying much attention to that at the time. Like, talking about how honorable Sexy Star oh. is, how she fights only for the fans. Oh. <laughs> how... <laughs> just so many things. Like, I was just listening. I'm like, Oh, this is awkward to listen to. This is really awkward to listen to. One's one's a real life heel and one's a real life face. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's so awkward. <laughs> it's really, really awkward. But it was it was great. Like the match itself was great too. A little short in my opinion. Mm-hmm. A little short, but um I mean, you know, when you have Ultima Lucha, I'm sure there are cuts. Like I, I wanna see an unedited version of Ultima Lucha, personally. Because I'm sure that match went a bit longer, but um, yeah, just Matt Striker like just telling us how honorable Sexy Star is for the and whole really match. digging it in, right? Yeah, just just really really selling it. Just uh, it was it was great. All right, Sorg, um, Qualis, if you have them, dos malos. <laughs> that I know there's only one episode left and we just put out stuff like uh, Vampiro saying master oh, oh that's that's a good one that's that, th- those uh, so is that so is that both your bads or, or <laughs> just that one <laughs> I think it encompasses everything I can't think of a bad from last week okay all right um well my bad for last week is that the battle royal winner was kind of predictable Kind of predictable. Okay. Like, and that was for like, those that don't remember. Uh, the Mac. Okay. Because it was it was a two week story. Like the Mac won the Battle Royal last week, got the trios title shot this week, and it led to an awesome match. Led to some awesome moments with Dante and Killshot. Um, by the way, uh, Killshot just literally standing on the shoulders of Pindar and flipping off. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> like, like they even showed the reaction of Dante Fox saying like. I didn't know he could do that. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's good. That's how crazy that move was. But, so, um, so did Killshot and Dante Fox become the Cesaro and Sheamus of Lucha Underground? Well, which I is mean, which they, is which is funny because they kind of technically did it first when they taped this. Well, they were kind of friends before, right? Like they they were they were brothers in arms before that, which. Right. I, like that's what I was saying um, two weeks ago when we did this. Like when Killshot carried Dante to the medevac, I thought that was kind of making amends for leaving him to die in the battlefield. And I'm still surprised Matt Striker didn't bring that up because I thought that was going to be like the uh, like the whole story of it. But yeah, it was still really good to see them uh, put aside their differences. Mm-hmm. And uh, Mimalo this week is. Um, if if you bring a baseball bat <laughs> to a match, you better fucking use it. Yeah, yeah. That, Someone that better really, use it. Like really... I don't know. I don't know if it was lost on the editing floor. I don't know what happened. But if you bring a baseball bat to a wrestling match, you need to use. I mean, that baseball bat. Things happen in the heat of the moment. I was just talking with a guy last night about a thing that happened recently at a local fed, and he's like, "Yeah, there was more we were supposed to do, but the crowd popped too hard, and we just didn't get to it." You know, um, and you know things like that. And yeah, I can see that, especially especially matches that are so crazy like these. Oh, so man, uh, what a that was a great uh, ladder match too. 
Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, I I don't know if I like Pentagon winning it. I I pull for Son of Havoc, but I mean obviously yeah, I mean, there's I mean, a little I don't, I don't not bit, like Pentagon winning it, but I mean there's a little bit more, you know, you can look at, you know, forward with this this revelation with Vampiro uh at the end of of uh, and him kind of setting Puma on a path and now, you know, I I think ideally you see Puma winning uh, the mask versus uh, title match. I think we're running for that. Uh, and then you get, you know, disciple versus disciple over the biggest prize eventually, right? And maybe that, and hell, maybe that even happens on Ultima Lucha, you know? It's two, it's two hours, Sorg. Anything can happen. It that's could. True. Because cause the, 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 they, they really kind of put up that whole, you know, giving lead time to promote to Dario, if for mm-hmm. some magic reason, because we do have a, 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 do we still have a Rey Mysterio match? No, Rey has been carried off by. Oh, Rey's not even on Ultima Lucha, so there's not anything. No. I can't think of anything else that would really. Although, although Sorg, if you look at my Twitter feed from last night, I did spoil what happens to Rey Mysterio. Oh, did you did you see this? Sorg? I didn't see this. I was trying to avoid your feed. I, no, no, it was on. It was on my personal feed. Right, right. It was on, it was on Mad. No, Mike I avoid Twitter on Wednesday night because I don't. I gotta wait for it to come up on no, iTunes the next day. Sork, you liked the tweet. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Bullshit. Sork, it, it's the slow mo video I did about Rey Mysterio getting hit by a car. <laughs> wait, I don't remember that. Did I like that? <laughs> yes, you did. Holy shit! <laughs> All right, so what kind of night uh, did well, I have? When I was when I was at work, we have a little Rey Mysterio figure that sits on our. Uh, oh, that! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there's a little Rey Mysterio figure that that sits at at my register, so I found a little wind up car and I did a slow mo video of Rey Mysterio getting hit by a car. Because <laughs> oh, I just assume that's probably what's going to happen. You have a lot of animation on your feed right now. Oh wow, I do. that is amazing. Uh, yes, uh, Mad Mike four eight eight three. If you want to check that out from twenty one hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> that is wait i love this i I'm, hold on hold on let me pull that i uh-huh. kind of say there it goes he'll, he'll loop here in a second yeah. hold on let me loop that yeah. again for you guys there you go you get mysterio <laughs> boom this is what you do at work all day yes this pretty is... much uh i i assume that by, by the way that car is a representation of the limousine that has dr claw in it oh i can kind of see the the gauntlet of the gods in the window i see what you're doing okay mm-hmm. hmm Exactly. See, I mean, it all connects. It's mm. all connected. Yep. <laughs> Just like a Lucha Underground script. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, Sorg, do you have any changes you have made over the past two weeks? Changes, changes. I, I can't. <laughs> I, bah. <sighs> all right. Well, while you're thinking and making inaudible noises, I will say one change from this week. I did not need to see what Dante's back looked like under that wrap. Oh, no. The- <laughs> I, I did not need to see that. I already had a picture in my brain. Didn't need to see it. Nope. Nope. Because, and, that, and that's it. Ouch. I mean, you know, again, that kind of like, oh, that, that women's match got uncomfortably bloody, right? And and they're not afraid to do that. And I mean, that's. I only- like that you say that women's match, and it could be both of them. It really could. But, but I think the one last week was bloodier. Yes. So. Yeah, a, a little bit, but uh, but the chops served in the last Luchadora match. Mm-hmm. Oh, ouch! And Just I want to so I, I, I want to address a comment here. Uh, Alex is saying, uh, "Boy, Alex, out in California, who is very close to where they're doing the 4DX screening of the finale next Tuesday." Um, by the way, uh, Sork, um, this is the good time to announce we need a Kickstarter. Yeah, yeah, and get GoFundMe to send uh, Mike and Sorg to. Uh, which is weird saying that together. No, 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 just me. Oh, just, just me. Just, just, just you. you <laughs> Even easier to, to raise. You've been to the temple once. I have. You've been to the temple once. It's only fair. Yes, yes. And apparently, it's only fair. apparently you can only dance if you're in the temple now. So, You can dance if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. Actually, you know, I really shouldn't reference that because there's nothing about Lucha Underground that screams safety dance. <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing. There's nothing about that nope. show that screams safety dance. So, Not even close. <laughs> so I want to say, you know, you know what would be crazy? It would be crazy, Sorg. You know what would be nutty this entire time? If it was all a dream? 
No, 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 no. If the guy in the limo, if the guy in the limo, and in my mind, the guy in the limo is also the master in my mind. Okay, we're going to debate this. (laughs) In either case, I think the master is someone different. In either case, one or both of them ends up being Matt Stryker. (laughs) That'd that'd be weird. That'd be really weird. (laughs) I. Okay, that that'd be really weird. Um, <laughs> I, I think Vampiro's master is Pentagon. What? I think it's Pentagon. Okay. All I right. think it's Pentagon. All right. Because I think after Ultima Lucha, the master became the student, or becomes Sting. <laughs> Sting. <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah, hold on so alex alex said uh he has one change and he if we did did we still need to see the last luchador standing match um yes yes we needed to yeah because it's it's the lucha underground like because we know real life happens different than pro wrestling like we what we, i know right it's almost like this what? isn't real to me damn it I don't know. But um, like there's still a story that needed to be told with Sexy Star and Taya, mm-hmm. with with their in character storyline. Like mm-hmm. that still needed to be told. It's like it's like um, asking if we need to even see Johnny Mundo in the main event because he's on Impact now. Yep. Like yeah, we still need to see that. We still need to see the the I culmination. Also of the remember story. there are because people... they work too. They work too hard for them not right. to air it. And too. also remember they are discovering like there are people that are watching this show that do not know all these crazy backstory things. There's people who are just casually finding this on on uh, uh, El Ray Network and watching or, it or on or Netflix. Netflix or Netflix, right? Yeah. That have no like. Hey, did you know there's wrestling fans that don't read dirt sheets? <gasps> what? Or don't listen to podcasts of other people talking what? about. Pro- <laughs> I wasn't gonna do it again. I wasn't gonna yeah, do it yeah. Again. That was extended last time, so yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, Al- Alex is throwing out a suggestion that Robert Rodriguez is the master. Yes, yes. It should just be Kevin Sullivan. <laughs> sure, sure. The plan to destroy Puma Mania. <laughs> like, let's just have it be Kevin Sullivan. I could see them doing it. I mean, why not? Why not? You get you got a guy who has a weird gold gauntlet that he seems to enjoy. Kevin Sullivan seems like he's into that shit. <laughs> Have you ever seen old varsity club stuff? He may he he wore a ball gag. <laughs> like that's oh, real. The nineties. That's just that, that was the eighties. Oh, that was the eighties. That was the eighties. Oh, the eighties. So much coke. Uh, <laughs> yep. So, Sorg, um, is, is there anything else we need to touch on from the past? No, two weeks? I think that's about everything I can possibly think of. We got a lot to do next week. Yes, we do. Uh, because for those of you who don't know, next week is the season finale of Lucha Underground. It is a two hour Ultima Lucha episode. Oh, and wait, hold on, hold on. I'm getting something. I'm, I'm, Look at my look at my wrist. Do you know what it's time for, Sorg? It's time for a guest. <gasps> it's time to call the bat phone. Or yes. the lucha phone in this case. We have we have lit up the DJ signal and Krista Joseph will be on next week, fresh from the 4DX theater, so he can tell us how Johnny Mundo smells in a theater. And he will be able to talk with us about all things Lucha Underground next week. Because, holy crap, it's going to be a lot. Um, For those of you expecting a short podcast next week, you will be disappointed. Because we may talk about this shit for two hours. Yeah, no, no, I'm going to I'm gonna have to block some time out for that. Uh, but keep keep an eye out for details for official time and everything. I think we're, we should probably do a uh, event on, on our Facebook page for this. Uh, so we can get the word out there and then tell your friends and, and be ready to be a part of that and have your questions ready 
Um, yes. We cannot yes. guarantee. Please email he... us. Yeah, email us at goodtimes at wrestlingmayhemshow dot com. We, we we cannot guarantee he will answer every question because we uh, we have tried. We, we, you guys <laughs> have tried, and this is actually this is the first time that I'll have been on an interview with him. Being We're caught up, watch everything. This is the <laughs> first time I'm going to be on the so so DJ. Or is it so, so so tell me so tell me <laughs> so <laughs> so now my mind's wrapping around all these things we'll have to get mainstream man on as well um we yeah have to make sure he catches up yeah oh do you see fell behind Matt's, that's right Matt's behind yes. that's behind us but oh, but right, you know what sorg we should put out the bat phone through antonio garza yes we should yes we should yes we should Yes, we oh, should. Oh, you guys are going to kill me on switching next week because you're all going to be on Google Hangout. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, See, Sork, this hey, is why we hey, need the Hey, Krista Joseph, bunch wall. listen, listen, Krista Joseph, I want to say we have this nice new studio here. You can sit. I've been accidentally switching to it all afternoon, but we got this nice seat right over here by Scary Things with the Scare House. We can take a Scare House next week if you wanted to. Actually, we should just make it. Let's make this a business trip. Chris. If you come out here, we uh, will we'll, we'll, we'll put you up in somebody's couch. Uh, we'll, we'll put we'll, we'll 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 show you the town here in Pittsburgh. We'll we'll get you to Scare House. We'll uh, you know you can be here in the studio with us, and we can do this the right way. Uh, just you know, we're a short hop from L.A. to Pittsburgh. Come on out, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I visited oh, your temple. Come visit mine. That sounds weird when uh, out of context. That does sound I, awkward. I, yeah, there we go. But I'm just going to put the inv invite out there. If at all possible, you are invited to come to Pittsburgh and join us in the studio. If not this, maybe the next time when the absolutely inevitable Lucha Underground Season 4 happens. So, uh, Yes, indeed. All right. So, Sorg, where... Now, I, I don't think this question needs to be asked. Where did you rank Lucha Underground this week? <laughs> there are other shows. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, yeah, yeah Lucha's, Lucha's number one. Yeah. And yes. spoiler alert, spoiler alert, Lucha Underground's got to be number one next week. Unless, unless, um... Nikki Cross comes out on NXT and personally says how much of a Mad Mike fan she is. <laughs> it's the only yeah, way. Yeah, it's, it's the only way. It. Basically, or, it. or or and and I also throw this out there to give to give 205 Live a chance too. If on next week's 205 Live, if Lindsay Dorado comes out and cuts a promo and says he he's officially changing his name to Kitty Cat Man. <laughs> Those are the only two ways. Those are the only two ways that it, something's going to beat Lucha Underground next week. Yeah, there's no, <laughs> there's, there's a track record. There's not, it, it's not likely that they're going to shit the bed on, on, on the finale to end all finales. Yes, absolutely. Yes. All right, uh, Sorg, where can the good people find you on the internet? Sorgatronmedia.com. A lot of fun things happening in geekdom and Pittsburghness. All right, and you can find me at Mad Mike four eight eight three on the Twitter machine. Also, sometime next Wednesday, when it happens, I will be live tweeting the hell out of Lucha Underground finale. So go to at Mayhem Show, look for the hashtag MM, and oh my God, there will be gifts, there will be pictures. I I used a a gif of friends to describe this week's episode. I used a gif of Mariah Carey to describe last week's episode. We're going to see what I use next week. Sorg, Sorg, did you get my Mariah Carey reference, by the way? No, I didn't. Because you spread your wings and prepare to fly, oh. and you become a butterfly, oh. just like the Mariposa. <laughs> just like the Mariposa. She spread her wings and flew. All right. So, Sorg, for... <laughs> Tina, you absolutely can bring a Mad Mike sign to 205 Live next week. Also, bring a Kitty Cat Man sign. Holy crap. <laughs> if you guys get, oh, geez, if you get either of those on TV, holy crap. Yes. Mayhem points for the win. Yes. If you get, absolutely. if you get, I, honestly, I, I'll, you know what? Just screw it. I'm going to put that out there. If you, if, if you give me a screenshot of either Kitty Cat Man or Mad Mike, and I don't know where your seats are, but if they get on TV, I'm sending you a t shirt. Yes. I love it. All right, so for Sorgatron, I'm Mad Mike, and this has been your Mid Week War!